now let's continue from where we stop so from here on the outline for this model you notice it says polygon cube one because it was being created from a polygon from a cube rather so we need to rename it so let's double click on it and let's say let's name it as uh male uh body okay all right so when i select all this channel box you notice we have a lot of uh histories we call it these histories so what we want to do is select on it and select this icon here from your poly modeling to clean up the history you can see now it's now cleaned up which is very good okay so for now we want to model the the head okay of the model so first let's model the eyeball all right to model the eyeball of the character there are some things you need to know okay you can see the blue and the black likewise the white okay so from here you need to always follow reference very important now you notice from the anatomy you can see here you have the eyeball shooting out in this shape so we need to mimic this when we are actually what creating the eyeball and that is one and you notice there's a noun that comes in like this so we also need to mimic that while creating the eyeball all right so to do that click on maya so on this let me hide this uh, model I have here first. Let me hide the body. That's Control H. Then select cylinder. Move it to the top. Then to rotate it, press Control E to rotate. Once you are doing that, rotating it, you notice the X rotate is changing. So just press 90. Then you have it like this okay so what we want to do now is to scale it move it to one direction so i always love it to be in the center of the reference i'm using something like this okay so you know the you notice it's a little bit white so i could just press r scale it a little bit okay if i should see the way it looks like um okay the way it look like this is it okay so it has covered does take this okay a little bit forward all right so in the right view also into position you notice it's going to the back so this to move it to the front position is somewhere like this to so press this okay so let's mimic uh, that shooting out okay more i show you in the reference so what you want to do first is to uh, rename it says eyeball okay eyeball so then duplicate it one more time that is control d okay so call this eyeball outer then inner eyeball inner space inner okay so for the outer one is what we want to work on first so on the uh, perspective view, close this first. Perspective view, uh, press space.
press face and select disable uh symmetry okay just select the faces then you can press tab to select more of those faces again let the face let's tap to let this first one then the second one okay because we're actually pushing it out okay so let me see i think i should select the third one as well the third one as well okay so i've mistakenly selected something else so to deselect that does select click on this and make sure you down control okay then select control e the control e will extrude it click on this arrow to give us a straight extrusion okay we have something like this very good which is okay very very good now press out to scale okay and let me see we can also use uh, a division let me see division of two mm, press t on the keyboard division of one plus one okay Okay, so I want the keyboard to scale it. So once I press my object when I press to run the keyboard, uh taking it to the to this view so that we can see it well, you notice we have something that looks like this. Okay, so I make I try to confirm if there is not something that looks like a sharp edge. Okay, so wish we don't have something of such, okay so this is for the second one that is for the this is for the outer so for the inner is what you are seeing here i think I, uh, I selected the wrong thing so i can as well rename it so let me just select this as inner okay inner then this is the outer okay okay so let me hide the inner first so you can see this is the outer I have, so it gives me something a roundless shape okay so once we've done that then we can hide the outer and bring in on id inner that is shift h the same thing applicable we select a face hold on tab and drag as the first one second one likewise third one okay once that is done on the two views right and this okay then control e this by extruding inside so we can see what we're extruding so here in the perspective view that we can see what we're extruding so once we extrude it like this press r on the keyboard to take it like this okay and uh, push it a little bit inward then scale it again okay so by doing so it will give us a roundness shape we we need okay so objects here on the keyboard and you can see give us something roundness shape if i on eye this so we have something like this if you look at actually observe some models okay you notice they usually have two uh 
eyeballs that is the one for the inner and the one for the outer so this is what you are this is how to create something of such but if you haven't seen something of such like that then no problem in your career in becoming a theory modeler you will experience something of such okay so uh that is that about that now the next thing now is to uh start with uh the head modeling there's a there are a lot of ways to create uh the head model there are a lot of ways okay so what i use initially to create the body is what I call box modeling and it's exactly what i'll be using to create uh the head as well so 